Hello, my name is Jochen Schlag and I'm the product manager for Rex at Belemet Life Science. Today I would like to talk about a topic which sounds really simple but actually bears a lot of risk for the cleaning process. So we can control a lot what's happening inside our cleaning systems. The water volume, the pressure, the temperature, the amount of detergent we put into the water. But we cannot control what's happening outside and before the cleaning process. It all starts with the gathering of the wash goods and placing them on the rack. But what happens if you place a pile on the wrong spot? The best cleaning detergent, the best cleaning process doesn't help if a part is placed on the wrong spot or is missing at all. So it's absolutely important that each wash good is placed on the right spot. Because only then we can assure that the cleaning process will be successful. But how do you know where to place the wash good? Currently our customers use a loading schemes which we provide with every rack to load a rack correctly. This document is provided as a PDF and in form of paper. On this loading scheme, it's shown where which wash good needs to be placed. For a person who does the loading every day, the loading scheme is not important anymore because they are so used to the process. But when there are new employees or a new person needs to get trained to the job, this loading scheme is still the master document. But as it is a two-dimensional document, it's sometimes really hard to identify which wash goods need to be placed on which position. And also the orientation is really important. So now I would like to show you how to load the rack with the wash goods here in front of me according to the loading scheme. So, let's see if I did everything correctly. So, these parts are all good. This part here as well. So, first problem I can see is up here. So, these parts here touch each other. And where they touch each other, it's not possible to get clean. Because no cleaning detergent can reach these points. So it's necessary to pull them a little bit aside so the water and the cleaning detergent has a chance to clean it. You can't see that on the loading scheme. That's just knowledge you need to have or you need to get taught. So another part which is placed incorrect is this one here. It's really hard to recognize on the loading scheme but actually this one needs to be turned around because here's a nozzle and this part inside here needs to be cleaned. So it must be hung up exactly like that. Also the risk when you turn it this way is that water can stuck down here. So it's not probably getting dried afterwards. So this is the right position. The other parts here, they look fine. Nozzle is going in here, the other side here. That's also correctly. It would also be possible to turn it this way but that would be incorrect and also really hard to see on the loading scheme that this is not correct. These two parts are also not positioned correctly. First of all, it would have been way easier to assemble them first before you place these parts and this part. If you remove them, you see down there are two nozzles. So actually correctly placed, it would be like this. And this one here, like this. 
so the nozzles can directly clean these parts from the inside. Again, really hard to see on the loading scheme. As you can see, it's possible to make so many mistakes and it's really hard to recognize them at all. Only an experienced worker can do such a process really reliable. But tiny mistakes can really lead to big problems. So just imagine when this rack with all the mistakes I did would have been washed, we couldn't promise a successful cleaning result. That's why we decided to develop something new to make the whole loading process safer. For that, we have developed a special software for mixed reality glasses. With these glasses, the loading of a rack can be done safer and more efficient because they can give audio assistance and visual assistance. So let's reset the rack and I'm going to show you how it works. Please say start to start the program. Start. So now we can see that the manual wants us to start with these three parts. We exactly have them here. So we take them and position them according to the virtual rack. So we have the big one here in the last position. The round one in the middle with the openings like that. So exactly do it the same. And the last part exactly positioned like this. So we continue by saying the word check. So the next parts are within the small basket. It's in total three of them. So the tiny bit. First this one. So here on the right basket. Then the round one exactly like this. And then uh, the tiny part exactly next to it and only one of it. So, check. So now we have these four parts we have here on the table. So, and now we can add audio guidance to, for example, say like, look, um, here on this side it's closed, on that side it's open. Make sure that the open part is faced to the bottom. So this can be added it's really up to the customer's wishes. So. Check. So now we have two parts here, the ring and the other thin part we have here, these two. So we can combine parts, so you don't have to walk to uh, grab each part by himself. So we have two hands, so that's why we decided to make two now. So we start with this one. It's placed like this. So we place it like this on the nozzle. And the thing ring comes in here. We make sure they do not touch each other. So the next part is this big part here. So um, we're just checking where it needs to get. So it will be positioned like this. So exactly here we have again all nozzles aligned to the openings. So we continue by saying, check. Ensure the correct orientation of the wash item as shown in the visualization. So the next part is uh, a critical part because the orientation is again really important. So you can also add that by audible, like by audio or visual things. So 
you can see it needs to be positioned like this. So we hang it in exactly as shown here on the virtual model. Check. So now we have this long part here. It's positioned that way. So we have it exactly in here and there. Perfect. Check. Ensure the wash items do not touch each other. So now we have these five parts on the top and we need to make sure they do not touch it up. So one, two, three, four, five. Make sure they're just lying here on the right side. Enough space between them. Check. So now we have eight parts, the open one and the closed ones. So the closed ones, the closed side is on the top. So you take the open ones first. Place them here. And now the closed ones directly next to them. Check. So we have again two parts, a big round one, and something that looks like a propeller. This one and this one. We place it directly in front of here. And this part next to it. So. So here we can see this side is face downwards. Currently here we have it upwards. So we turn that around. The loading so. process has been check. successfully finished. A final check has been performed. The real rack looks exactly the same with the wash goods as the virtual model. So all wash goods are positioned correctly. The program of the virtual rack can now be finished and closed. As you can see, loading a rack with the mixed reality glasses is really simple. You just put them on, start a program, and then just follow the guidance of the programs. And so, all steps by step, the wash goods are assembled on the rack. There are a few benefits. The first is, it's really easy to use, and especially for trainees, they learn on a really simple way how to load such a rack and what the important things are. Secondly, you can record what the person who loaded the rack has done and which can be saved together with the batch protocol. So afterwards, you have the whole data. So you can really check, was everything all right? Was everything recorded and loaded correctly? And after that, the washing process. So just having these glasses for the loading of a rack can benefit your whole cleaning process. The mixed reality glasses, together with a perfectly adapted software to your needs, is in our opinion the best solution to increase the process safety of the cleaning process. Because with that we cannot only control the process inside the machine, but also outside the machine. Furthermore, the mixed reality glasses are a one-time investment. The software can be easily adapted if you buy a new rack or the current rack will be adapted. So if you are interested, just get in touch with us.